Hey Libra, welcome to your July 2018 mid-month reading. So um, I've been on vacation for the past two weeks, so that's why I haven't been able to upload. So I'm sorry for the wait, but I am now back. I was in West Coast in California, did a lot of beach and hiking. It was a much needed vacation. So I'm happy to be back and getting these videos in at least, you know, um, towards the, the middle of the month so we can still see what's going on or what's been going on for you guys and um, how the month is going to turn out in the next two weeks or so. So let's get into it. So let's see what's going on for Libra, Zodiac sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, and also guys, if you want to stay up to date with, you know, um, when I'll be recording, what's happening, please follow my Instagram because there I'll be able to communicate with you guys and let you know when I'm recording, if I won't be recording for a while. So that's probably the best way to get updates from me or, or to see when the next video will be up, all right? So let's get into it. I'm going to fast forward this part and then we'll go through it together. All right, Libra, let's get into it. Let's put them all out and see what's going on or will be going on. So first card out, you got the High Priestess in reverse. For your present situation, another major arcana in your challenge is temperance. So there could be some, you could be having issues with balance too, like um, working things out, bringing things together, something about timing or creating something. I feel like there was something that was hidden maybe that's come out presently and you're trying to do some type of damage control. Oh wow, another major arcana in the recent past was judgment. Yeah, so definitely either information or some decision that was made or some lack of judgment that was made is happening or happened and now it's kind of like trying to do some like I was saying some type of damage control or to work things out bring things together is what's challenging at the moment in the near future you have the nine of wands so getting a little bit tired feeling like you put in a lot of effort and work or you've been through something okay but I feel like you're gonna get that opportunity to kind of rest whatever it is that you're trying to either mend or bring together or balance out. I feel like you're going to have this period where you're able to just take a break after a lot of work. After trying to, to get things to a better place, to a more balanced place, you're going to be able to kind of sit back. But it's going to take a lot of effort for sure. In your thoughts, you have the Nine of Wands. So still trying to overcome some type of struggle or stress or anxiety you have two nines here so something big some something some major energy either some bad decision was made some information came out that was hidden and i feel like there's a a, a lot of effort being put into trying to work it out or fix it or balance out your life after some type of major event or major information or development that's happened in your <laughs> in your hopes and fears you have the hermit card representing virgo you also got temperance here for Sagittarius. So a lot of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Sagittarius. Um, or this could just be talking about you really examining things or wanting to be to yourself. You're keeping a lot to yourself or the things that you were keeping to yourself are starting to come out. Right? Because we are in, we just had the full moon in Cancer yesterday. Or not the full moon, sorry, the new moon in Cancer. And I feel like that's bringing out a lot of emotions or hidden emotions from people and people are really trying to like rein that in or or try to really examine these emotions that are starting to come up for them so this is definitely probably hitting you the hardest and it's you're trying not to think about it pretty much you're trying not to think about these things these thoughts that are creeping in you really don't want to face it but i think deep down in your subconscious you know that you need to face these things your overall energy is going to be the four of swords in reverse so again i feel like it's, it's this energy of not having peace of mind being worried being um or not really trying to, to deal with it or recover from it we'll clarify this one for sure media environment seven of wands in reverse so again feeling like overwhelmed feeling like there's a lot happening or a lot coming up resurfacing as well and you're having a tough time keeping the, these emotions in balance or in check 
overall outcome are two of cups. So, I mean, if you're having a tough time in a relationship, I feel like it's going to balance itself out. Remember I was saying here, like, after a lot of battles and arguments and going back and forth, you guys are going to end up getting back on a good page, all right, for those in relationships, if it has to do with that. I remember here, you got the two cups here, trying to bring things to a balance, and then here, and as your outcome, it does come into a balance. So if you guys are not, if you're in a relationship and you guys are not seeing eye to eye, or someone, you know, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of things resurfacing, information resurfacing. I feel like you're going to be able to overcome that and come together for sure. Um, but I also feel like there's a lot of avoidance too, avoiding talks or avoiding certain thoughts or avoiding a lot that's come up. For others of you, this just talks about things starting to finally calm down towards the end of the month. Okay, you will be able to regain that harmony back in your life, back in your work, back in your um, relationship. You'll be able to regain that harmony after a period of things feeling very out of control or very unbalanced. All right, let's look at the bottom of your deck. You have the two of swords here, another two. Wow, so yeah, with that judgment here, I feel like there were decisions that weren't being made that are being made now, so a lot of you could be deciding some of you are deciding maybe you want to be in a relationship with someone, or maybe some of you are deciding that you want to have some sort of common ground. Let's look at the, the synchronicity of twos, because I just realized we have three twos now. Two of cups, two of swords, two of wands. And the synchronicity, I put that here in my little book. Okay, so it says, keep the faith, don't stop believing, your guys are working and things are coming. So yeah, definitely. I can see that here. All the struggle that you're going through, keep the faith because you are going to have a happy ending towards the end, which is good. All right, so let's go ahead and start to clarify these cards. All right, so now I'm going to use the smaller little mini tarot deck, and we're going to clarify a lot of this energy here. So I want to see what this high priestess in reverse is representing in the present energy here. So what is the high priestess here representing for Libras? In their present energy ten of cups so like I'm saying a lot of unhappy emotions are starting to stop to, to resurface for some reason I feel like this this new moon in cancer right and as I said that I just noticed the the crescent moon here this new moon in cancer for some reason has has thrown you guys off a little bit emotionally it's brought up a lot of like maybe past trauma or things that haven't died right because with this judgment card here it's like the card you see the people rising from the dead it's like things are resurfacing so i'm getting that theme of like things starting to resurface old wounds um old emotions old feelings just things are just starting to resurface for you at this moment that has to do with your emotions the challenge is temperance like i was saying bringing balance to those emotions trying to get to a more calm place the Empress card. A lot of major arcana here for you. So this is definitely big energy that's happening right now um, for a lot of Libras. So again, just trying to feel more comfortable, more in a place of being creative and loving and giving. You're trying to bring that energy back and really fight off the creeping energy, you know, but it's a slow progress. This is going to be a slow progress before you see any type of results. So that's what's challenging you, really trying to work through these things that are happening, these emotions that are surf resurfacing for you. In the near future, you have Nine of Wands. What does the Nine of Wands represent here in the near future? Ten of Wands. Uh, okay. So... After a lot of struggle, like I was saying here with this card, it represents like going through a lot of struggle, releasing a lot of burdens as well. I feel like after a certain point, you're going to just surrender to these emotions that are coming up for you, right? You're going to go ahead and possibly face them after a period of not. And you're going to feel a little bit exhausted and drained by it, but I feel like that's what needs to happen, right? So you can get to this harmony, so you can get to this two of cups energy where things will start to really balance out like the more you fight it the more you fight these emotions the more it's going to be a losing battle right because they're not going to stop popping up as you can see here in this picture that they're not going to stop popping up for you 
and you're not facing it at the moment. You're letting, you're letting it take over you rather than you standing your ground and taking over it. So that's what needs to happen. You need to go ahead and confront these, these things that are happening. And I'll pull a, a, an advice card too. Let's see why. Let's see why your overall energy is the four of swords in reverse. Why is Libra's overall energy the four of swords in reverse in the next coming weeks? It's our second half of July. Okay. The world card. Yeah. So to me, sometimes the world represents like closure, putting a closure to things. This is saying that you you know you might be a little bit stubborn to to healing things to healing old wounds to facing them and you need to put something to rest already and you're having a tough time closing that wound or putting closure to something now your overall outcome though is positive it's the two of cups so what is the two of cups representing page of wands all right so this could be Good news, this could be a new opportunity, this could be information that helps to bring the harmony back or the balance back for you guys towards the end of the month, another two. You know, in a period where you didn't know what to do or you were closed off, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity to be more expressive towards the end of the month too. That's how you're going to regain your... Um, your harmony to just express what it is that you've been holding back queen of cups yeah your emotions following your intuition these things that are creeping up on you it's not going to stop it's not going to stop stressing you out until you confront it until you confront it until you face it head on that's where you're going to find your peace and your harmony and your balance okay the things you've been holding on to you need to confront this is where you'll find your stability too and I feel like you probably have someone in your life, too, that, you know, helps the hair fit. Again, seeking some sort of counsel, advice. So this is going to be a month for Libra. Again, like I was saying, high emotions, for sure. Things creeping in. But I feel like it's because you're a lot of Libras could be refusing to let some stuff go or to confront these, these things. These wounds or these open wounds that you guys have emotionally. But towards the end, it does get good. Towards the end, you do get some type of balance or, you know, good advice, good direction. Let's go ahead and look at love. And then I'm going to pull an advice card for Libras for the month of July 2018. So what can you tell me for Libras who are single? What's some advice or energy that you're picking up? For oh, wow. That flew out real quick. <laughs> Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And check you guys out here. Right? So, for some singles, this came out also, funny enough, in the Virgo reading. And you have Virgo energy here. So a lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. But um, single people, you guys are definitely getting to know someone. Or someone is coming into your life. Or you, you've already met someone that you're starting to really reveal yourself to or open up to more. Okay, which could also explain why the high priestess in reverse is here. Not being so secretive or guarded or holding back information or thoughts. What else can you tell me for single Libras? What else is some advice or energy you're picking up for single Libras? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I can see that here as well with the Knight of Pentacles. The slow progress. Trying to create some type of opportunity. So finances are a factor for some of you when it comes to love or getting to know somebody. Maybe you're not, you don't have the time or you're working a lot. But money seems to be some type of burden or issue that needs to be worked through. But you are in the, a lot of you are in the process of getting to know someone and having that bond deepen as well. Now what can you tell me for Libras who are in relationships? Oh, okay, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. I feel like that wanted to go here with the singles. So a lot of you could be having someone as well come into your life. Someone you haven't heard from for a while. Could be a Sagittarius, a Virgo. 
Maybe it's Horus with the Hierophant card here. All right. So Libras are in relationships. What is some um, energy or advice you can tell me for Libras who are in relationships? All right. Let me do that again because I was not meaning for that to pop out. It was just, okay. Healing family issues. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Wow. See, like I was saying, these old wounds, these old emotions that are coming up, things that you haven't confronted, it needs to be confronted. You need to heal these, these issues that you have from the past in order for you to remain successful in your relationship because it's going to play a part in your relationship and how that goes and how you um, interact with your partner. This card flipped. It says you deserve love. You are lovable. A lot of your Libras could be feeling like, you know, because of these old family issues or old wounds that you haven't healed from, you feel unlovable. You don't feel worthy of love. Even when you have someone right in front of you who's willing to, to, to trek this with you, to go the long haul with you, to go all the way. Could, could even possibly be towards marriage, all right, if you're not married already. But you guys have this, this wound that needs healing. If it's not family issues, then it could be anything. But it's really calling out family issues. All right, Libras. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to pull a card for advice. So one card I'm using, Wisdom of the Golden Path for this one. And this is going to be some overall advice for Libra. What's the overall advice for Libra for the second half of July? What's the overall advice for some guidance for Libra? Okay. Oh, love. Let's go ahead and read from the book. I love how that came out because it says you deserve love. And love is your overall advice. Let's see what the book has to say specifically about this card. Okay. It says an angel surrounds you with her wings of light. She is here to remind you that there is more to life than your achievements, degrees, and possessions. She would like to help re reconnect you with your true nature and rediscover a healthier, more sensitive, and loving you. Your soul is full of infinite light, beauty, and creative energy. Through being, awa oh, well, sorry. Through being aware of your spiritual nature, you connect to your true and infinite nature and experience a greater sense of fulfillment and purpose. Connecting with your true essence is a profound and sacred experience. You may feel overwhelmed by joy at times. Let every feeling surface and express all you feel in some way. Through the process of reconnecting and rediscovering the real you, life and all around you transforms in the most positive way. Right? So like I was saying, all these feelings that are coming up, don't try to ignore them. Don't try to let them overwhelm you. Embrace them. Because I feel like the universe wants you to feel these feelings because they want you to confront it. But confront it from a place of love, right? Love for yourself, love for the things that you've been through, forgiveness as well, forgiving any issues that you've had in the past because you deserve love. Really good reading. I like that reading for you guys. That was really cool, Libra. So thank you guys for being so patient. Like I said, if you want to stay updated and see uh, what I'll be uploading next or uploading the August videos, please follow my Instagram. I'll put that info below in the description. And I feel like this is going to be a good month for you guys, for sure. This is going to be a good month. Things are going to, all this is happening for a reason and it's, it's good. Even though it doesn't feel too great at the moment, it's a good thing. You're going to have to just confront these, these feelings that are happening. So um, also, if you want to book a private reading with me, that info will be below. You can email me or um, even better, do it through the website. It's easier to track those orders and place your order. Okay, so I'll see you guys again in August. Take care, Libra.